What if your cell phone never ran out of power the entire time you owned it? What if doctors could implant hearing aids or pacemakers that would continue to run long after a patient was deceased? What if we could send satellites into space that could travel millions of miles beyond where the sun could recharge them? What if your electric vehicle could run non-stop for 90 years? And what if you could do all of this with a battery made from a waste material that everyone wants to get rid of as fast as they can? Alright, I know what you're thinking. We've heard for years about the impending demise of the lithium-ion battery at the hands of some new wonder technology. And while this is all currently science fiction, there is a theoretical battery in development by multiple companies and universities that could eventually achieve these dreams. In 2016, the University of Bristol was reported to be working on developing a nuclear diamond battery. Now again in 2020, a company in California called NDB, or Nano Diamond Battery, has made news again by announcing the successful proof-of-concept testing of batteries made with this same concept. These nuclear diamond batteries are made from processed graphite nuclear waste, which is then turned into carbon-14 diamonds in a lab. The diamonds are coated or surrounded in waste that will slowly decay and react with the diamond to produce a small trickle of electric current. The current is stored in a supercapacitor and then released to provide power for whatever device it is installed in. Depending on the radioisotope used, here in this case carbon-14, these batteries can theoretically continue to produce electricity for years or even thousands of years. Different versions of the battery are possible for different applications, and each version would have a different lifespan. For the smallest of applications, such as tiny sensors, the battery could mathematically last for 28,000 years. Theoretically, because these batteries should be able to last so long and outlive the device they are used in, the batteries can be removed and put into new devices. And if a cell of a battery fails, it could be recycled and used to create a new cell. At first blush, nuclear diamond batteries would be extremely useful for low drain devices that are hard or impossible to access for maintenance, such as implanted in a human body, in orbit around the sun, or thousands of meters down at the bottom of the ocean. They could also be perfect for devices that may require large amounts of energy, but only intermittently, such as a UPS or a security floodlight, where there's a long time period of recharging between uses. But NDB also claims that this technology can be used in high-drain, high-demand applications such as electric vehicles, and as a power source for remote generators that are used constantly. Now I'm not sure how that works given the nature of supercapacitors and the relatively low amount of current produced by the diamond and trickle charged into the capacitor. There isn't much information about high drain applications, only that versions of the technology are being developed specifically to fit those needs. A technology with this much potential and reach could change almost every aspect of our lives. It could solve huge problems such as the overtaxed power grid in California simply by eliminating all of the electricity currently being consumed each day by people recharging laptops, phones, tablets, and cars. It could provide unlimited power to remote villages in the Amazon basin in Brazil or an African tribe. It could help to reduce the problem of nuclear waste disposal, which is often a political and environmental nightmare. It could even single-handedly solve global carbon emissions. So wait a minute. Time out. If all this is true and possible in the real world, why isn't every capitalist in the world moving heaven and earth to invest in this technology? Why aren't governments all over the world preparing to fight over access to this holy grail energy source? Are there major health concerns with nuclear waste being strapped to your wrist or held to your ear all day long? Could these batteries explode and level an entire city block? Something's missing here. To get some answers, first I turned to contacting NDB directly. Unfortunately, that was several weeks ago, and I've yet to get a response. They seem to have hired a PR firm to represent them that's too busy to bother answering their phone or returning emails. Maybe they're too busy with Bill Gates and Warren Buffett making a deal for trillions of dollars. Or not. After failing to get some answers from NDB, I scoured the web for more information. And after further review, it seems like this may just be a bunch of marketing hype. For one thing, a working prototype battery has not yet been produced. So, while NDB claims to have proven the concept, I will respectfully disagree and wait for a working prototype instead of some laboratory experiment. Other clues that the marketing hype machine is working overtime here are in this picture. 
you can clearly see that this picture from NDB of a theoretical battery shows a power rating of 100 microwatts. So unless this chip is supposed to be microscopic and paired with thousands of other batteries, it is nearly useless for all but the tiniest power applications. Another clue from the picture is the word beta voltaic. Beta voltaic batteries are nothing new. You can already buy those commercially. So while using carbon-14 diamonds as the source of the battery power is new, beta voltaics are old news. So let's pump the brakes a little bit and stop calling this company the next Tesla. Until some big name investors get on board and a working prototype can be unveiled, this is just another fly-by-night, vaporware, smoke-but-no-fire breakthrough that no one will remember a few years from now. I guess only time will tell. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel.